just a little recap from part one after drying overnight we got a single piece hello friends welcome to the video this is beginners number two uh, just wanted to throw in a few tips for cutting your first kit uh, this is a PDF vector out of outer zones advanced section uh, it's called the not quite I like this one uh, for a beginner because of the wealth of information that it has in the plans and I'll show you a little more about that here in a minute uh, take this for instance they're using a free wing 17 grain gram Ugh. not grain we're not talking bullets gram uh, Metal Gear Metal Gear Servo. I'm gonna get it straight here in just a second. Motion RC has these, and the cool part is for the same price you can get different lengths of leads. So, like on this one, I would get a 15 inch on each side for the wing, and maybe a five to eight inch here. This one just has three servos because it just has a rudder stab, not a rudder. If I was building this, I would do some balsa stretching and make a rudder. And I would probably put the servo right here so I could run a pull-pull system to it. But that's way beyond the scope of this video. Uh, this tells what battery, what motor, what prop, everything. It just, you get further down here, it's got a whole lot of information like on the thickness of the wood to use for each piece. I know that seems kind of simple. This would be a pretty easy build, except for determining the thickness of the wood on the rudder and the elevator and a few other things. There are some advanced things that I do to figure those deals out. That's another video. This is a good choice. Uh, the fuselage, you know, everything kind of jigsaws together. I'm gonna, just going to go over a few things that I would do, because I've learned the hard way, uh, that would help you to uh, cut this thing out right the first time. And... Uh, actually have a pretty quick build going on let's slip over to light burn first thing this is just my guess but i you know took a crayon yeah and drew some lines trying to determine the grain of wood some of that's left to interpretation these are just my suggestions it's something you're going to want to know when you go to moving these parts over to your table to start cutting all right here's another thing right here They've got all this drawn out, and that's great. It's it's a lot of information. I copied that. I brought it over to my table. And I'll show you something. I talk a lot about using preview. As this is setting right now, if you preview it, this is what the laser is going to cut out, which is way more than you need cut out of there. Here's a quick little deal. Let's see. This is... I drew this in green crayon. Select that turn your output off which turns the power off select the whole thing again right click preview now the arrow's gone now it's only going to cut this stuff so we can do this other you know one of two ways you can select all these different parts on here and change it to a color that you're going to turn the power off anyway but it'll still leave it there where you can see it or you could just delete everything you're not going to need. Now I'm going to hold the control button down. I'm going to make little right to left boxes so it selects. It's just got to touch part of it. It selects a whole bunch of it. And I'm going to go around and go around. And when I get a handful, go ahead and change that to green. You see green right now is hardly showing up because I've got the power turned off turn the power back on just so you can see it better just remember to turn the power back off to that green before you go to cut okay select hold control down select you can just click on little pieces if you want and get through this as quickly as possible and turn that all green okay because we don't need that part being cut out now turn the power off to green see how it dimmed all that that should not because we don't need that part being cut out. Now, turn the power off to green. See how it dimmed all that. That should not. 
show up in your preview because it's not going to cut it. Now we leave the little holes here on the ends uh, to run a, a nut and bolt through to hold your motor on there. We'll leave these for air venting and for running your wires through from your motor back to your speed controller. But this is all we really need cut out of that section. And so now that we've got it set like that, select the entire thing, and I'd go ahead and group it. If you don't group it, you can select things separately. Uh, but when you go to move something, you're going to want to move it all together. Once you've got it set ready to cut, select the whole thing, hit that group. And then anytime you select it, it selects the entire thing. It all moves together. Okay, next thing I want to talk about. Um, it's great that they uh, give you some examples for the ribs, including this 8th inch plywood. Your servo is going to screw into that. And it's also great that they actually went through here and told you how many of each is going to be on there. But you've got to look at the plans. It didn't really list it here. Uh, so what I did with another one of these that I worked on is I went through and uh, wrote it in green crayon so I could turn the power off and it wouldn't show up. Let's see if we turn that power back on to green. It shows my green direction. And uh, so I ended up, you know, I had R1 times however many R1s I counted. 332nd I had all the information right on uh, the rib itself but in a color that it wasn't going to cut so when I went to cut it out I knew how many there was I'm counting three R1s on each side of the wing panels so let's select R1 that whole piece and I'm going to duplicate that so that I keep my original and let's go ahead and pull it out move it over here we can get that out of the way for the moment. Simply select that. I'm going to turn that green. I didn't get the whole thing. Control Z undoes your last screw up. There we go. Whew. Okay, select all that. Move it up here. So I'll have this information. So I can see it, but it won't cut it out on my actual wood. And I decided I needed six of these, so I'm just going to add in X6 six times six. Get that selector. All right, now we have everything we need to know. Grain direction, how many, what size, and what it's listed as in the plans. Select that whole thing. Group that whole thing. I need six. Okay, come over here and hit this array tool. Slide that to the side. Get it out of the way. Two rows. Three wide. I guess I should have hit OK. <laughs> it's 332nd. I already know from shopping that I can get some uh, 332nd by 36 by 6 inches wide. So I'm going to draw me a little box. I'm going to change that box to, say, blue, another color I'm not going to cut. Uh, you can use these tool deals to do this also, but to me it's just too simple to do it like this. All right, get that selector, get that going. Now come up here to your width and height. Wide, I'm going to do six inches, so I'm going to type in six IN for inches. Tab down, 36 inches by N, enter. That's going to give me the size of the wood that I'm going to purchase. Uh, now, from the last video, you know that you could chop that into 12-inch sections. And uh, if you've got a much smaller laser. And then I'm just simply going to set that in here and OK. I can cut that out, and there it is. So, yeah, smaller laser. Let's say draw you up a P1000 
piece of wood, get your selector back, go up here to width, six inches wide, six I in tab, 12 I in. All right. And then C, let me just get that out of the way. If you're going to be able to fit that into there, so hopefully you got a bigger than 12 inch laser. But yeah, we would have to do those a little different. Oh, select you little dude. So maybe something like that. Might be able to squeeze in a couple more. Um, maybe your greater than less than keys turns your subject matter 90 degrees. Eh, that won't quite fit. You might can squeeze it in something like that. Anyway, this gives you some ideas about how to work uh, your material area and what you're needing to cut along with it. Next step. Okay, on this step, it's got the plans to scale for the wing. And the fuselage is actually, it kind of goes together like a puzzle. You can see your little pieces that hook in here. This little piece will hook into there. And so, really, if you was going to print plans, uh, you could probably get away with just printing this one sheet. For some reason, this sheet is not to scale with everything else on this particular one. And uh, so, here's a neat little trick that I've used to. Uh, to scale things before, I took and copied this piece, turned it red, put it in here, and then I copied this entire thing and grouped it together so when I hit one part of it, it selects the whole thing. And I kept going. I started out when that was selected. I turned this lock on and then just hit the up button right here and it kind of mutually expands in both directions now it got down to a point where i had to unlock and do width and height a little separate until i got it pretty close you can see how my red lines and my black lines are let me just slip that out of there so you can see and then slip it back into place to where they're just almost perfect, not quite. But I had to keep working back and forth. And you can see I'm still just a smidge over on the black lines back here. And that could stand to go up a little bit right there. So it's not exactly perfect, but it's close enough that when you actually get your parts cut out, you could scale this and print this, and I'll show you how to print right out of Lightburn and get it to scale. That's a little trick all of itself. Uh, took, copied this one, and go ahead and group that together. And uh, as another check, am I going to be pretty good? Yeah, looks like it. Fits almost just exactly right. Close enough that you'll be able to lay this out as a poster and uh, piece together everything you need. Once I got it to scale, take it out to the side away from everything. Select the whole thing, right click, and copy it. All right. Then you're going to want to hit save for what you're working on and start a whole new instance of Lightburn. I would suggest coming right over here to the left side of this is what seems to work best for me. Paste that in there. I'm going to ungroup this for a reason because I think I can hit, yeah, the square by itself 
take your little ruler piece and you can do inches or millimeters either way highlight that now when I get it highlighted look over here on the far left the whole perimeter is that your height is 64.7 inches and then you highlight the top part and your width is 87.9 inches okay so you'll need to jot that down make sure you get your width and your height of your boxes surrounding the whole thing we're going to go to file print black only you're going to want to install bullzip pdf printer basically just google that i don't don't have a link for you handy but google that get that in there and what it does is it it prints in pdf now i know windows does the same thing some reason i couldn't get it to work with windows but this bullzip pdf printer makes this work really easy scroll down here to more settings advanced paper size you're going to want to change from letter to postscript custom page size in here if you measured millimeters select millimeters and put them in if you if you measured in inches select inches and put that in there because what that's going to do is going to make a pdf this scale if you do all those settings and then you can use my printing paper at home uh, you know printing plans at home simply go into your adobe and go to print this and it'll do up a poster in little sections so you'll need to go check out that video printing plans at home that's how you can get it to print to scale out of lightburn otherwise you try to print it just like this and it'll it'll like put all this on one page and you're kind of out of it for there okay and you really don't have to save this you can file recent projects and go back to what you were working on before and say no to save it or save it if you want to and go right back to what you were doing and you can print out now uh almost perfectly scaled to what you're building close enough set of plans i realized that was a rather long lengthy thing but i thought you uh those tips would really help you uh at least on something like this finish getting it going thanks for uh the likes and the subscribes i really appreciate all that come back to see me <laughs>